hidden sign the Queen is moving to take control of Meghan and Harry it was one sentence, buried in an official press release, but it effectively brings Meghan and Harry under the Queen's control. Over the weekend, Kensington Palace put out a superficially benign press release confirming that Harry and Meghan will create their own official household later this year, finalizing their professional split from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's household. It was also revealed that many of the staff who currently support Harry and Meghan will stay at Kensington Palace with Wills and Kate. This and the fact a number of other employees on the Sussexes' payroll have resigned with disturbing regularity since their wedding means that the newlyweds are set to go on a hiring spree to find new bodies to help them polish their speeches and plan their, I'm guessing, future TED Talks. Their first hire has been named as PR impresario Sarah Latham whose CV includes both stints in the 90s Clinton White House and Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. Suffice to say handling egos, dealing with right-wing trolls and pressing pants suits to perfection are clearly in her wheelhouse. But hidden in among the dull platitudes in the press release, there was one small clue as to the real way Hermia apparently feels about the Windsor's newest power couple. It seems that Latham will report to the Queen's press secretary Donald McCabe and the Sussex's new communications team will report to Buckingham Palace's communications team. Translation, Hermes Communications Army will directly control what Harry and Meghan do and say in the future. No more bypassing the palace press apparatchiks, surprise people interviews or $700,000 New York jaunts, thank you very much. By contrast, the Cambridge's communications secretary Christian Jones, Aka the Hottie who is spotted enjoying lunch ado with Meghan a few months ago, has much greater autonomy. Not only that, but the new Sussex office will be housed in Buckingham Palace meaning that Prince Philip will be able to pop down and keep an eye on how many post-its the communications team are squirreling away and whether they are letting the newlyweds go off pissed and announce, say, the palace is about to put in solar panels. Also, Harry and Meghan's new outfit will be jointly paid for by both Prince Charles and the Queen, using their private sources of income namely the Duchy of Cornwall and the Duchy of Lancaster respectively, which means that Lizzie is quite intimately involved in all this shuffling of desks, another indication she wants to keep tabs on the energetic duo. A royal source has told London's The Times, the feeling is that it's good to have the Sussexes under the jurisdiction of Buckingham Palace, so they can't just go off and do their own thing. Interestingly, Hazza and Meghan will also take up an apartment inside the palace in due course, rather than keeping Kensington Palace as their London base. Add all of this together and it sounds very much like the Queen and Prince Charles want to keep a much closer eye on Harry and Meghan. Because if there is one thing the creaking, monolith of the crown hates its individuality, ambition and personal verve rather than constant toil in the name of the crown. That said, Harry and Meghan are charismatic, creative and dedicated to being global change makers. Buckingham Palace has 775 rooms all they need is one hall cupboard with good Wisconsin fi, away from prying eyes, and there will be no stopping them. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.